There you go. Tell Nanny about your cats. Nanny, I got, I had all kinds of kitty cats. Which one do you want to know about? I had uh, Bam Bam, Freckles. You know why they called him Bam Bam? Why? They'd put a plate on the floor. And there's a bunch of little kittens see, around. A bunch of little kittens around. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And they'd pour some food on that plate. And the kitties would go, would go around the plate to eat it. And Bam Bam would go take his foot and go Bam. <laughs> <laughs> That's why they called him Bam Bam. Hmm. What about Duder? Well, Duder, see, when we got him, that woman uh, called him Blackjack. And I said, that's too big a name for a cat. I said, so, I said, he looks like a dude. He looked like he had a tuxedo on. So we called him the dude. <laughs> and uh, one day he disappeared. We looked everywhere. And uh, finally the landlord come up and said, I think it, I found your cat. He crawled up into the grapevines down there and died. And uh, after he died, this... Uh, I looked out in the backyard, there was this little ball of fur, a gray ball of fur. I thought it was a little pregnant female. I went out there, it was a little boy. Mm -hmm. I showed it how to come in the house the way Duder did. And it, it was gray, it had two big white patch on each side of it. So he called him Patches. I took him up to this, I took him to this vet, Dr. King, and he said, I don't believe that cat is a stray. Said he'll lay on this table, let me do anything to him. Mm -hmm. I said, well, he lays on my driveway waiting for the kids' school bus to come because <laughs> they'll all get off the school bus down there and rub on him, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, then he got sick and I took him back up there. He said, uh, God, I hate to have to tell you this, but your gat, cat has FIV. I said, what the hell is FIV? <laughs> He said it's the same thing that humans is an HIV, but this is feline. And he said he will die a horrible death. Mm -hmm. So he said, I'll put him to sleep. It won't cost you a penny. And while I, he's got the needle and leaning over to give him the shot, tears running down that man's face. Mm -hmm. He had three cats running around in his office. He was a cat lover. You know how much he charged you to fix a cat? Fifteen dollars. Good. <laughs> and the girl up the street got one of the cats that uh, Danny's uh, angel had. It was a little black one. She called it Lucky. And she called around to see how to get it fixed. They wanted $75 to $80. <laughs> mm -hmm. I said, you go call Dr. King. Because I said he'd do it for $15. Mm -hmm. She couldn't believe it. But that's where she took them. I said, there ought to be more vets with a heart like that, you know? Yeah then there wouldn't be so many stray animals running around. And just like these vets that charge you $100 to put your animal down that you've had for years. Mm -hmm. It's like you take it, one of your kids. Because Daddy had uh, Spunky for years. Mm -hmm. And when well, she got poisoned, he took her to the vet. And he said, I can't help her. I'll have to put her down. Mm -hmm. Charged him $100. And David had these little dachshunds. And he took one and had, had it put down at $100. Mm -hmm. Now that's awful. Because, uh, well, they just found that there's some vet that puts a sign out up, uh, up, up there in front of a gas station. And they're giving out uh, rabies shots for $6. So they're going to go get him to give their dogs, their gravy shots that they need again. Uh-huh. He always has been set up up there to help people, you know? Mm-hmm. Is this Dr. King? No, this is one is a man there in, uh, near, in uh, South Carolina. Uh-huh. But I've seen him put a sign up outside this uh, gas station two or three times a year mm -hmm. with the prices that he charges. People that go there and have have it done for cheap, like mm -hmm. I said, that's a vet with a heart. But that uh, vet that took care of Freckles, she's done with that. Uh huh. He was he was. I hated that. Everybody hated that vet. All right, he he I took uh, Freckles up to him because mm -hmm. he was acting funny. Mm -hmm. 
so he finally came out and he said, he didn't say what was wrong with him or anything. He just said, take him home, let him die. Charged me $161. And I brought him home, laid him at the foot of my bed, and that's where he laid till he died. Mm -hmm. But I think he'd done that to uh, Dale's little dog, Cindy. He had a little uh, uh, Cocker Spaniel named Cindy. I think that son of a bitch did the same thing to him. <laughs> Told him to take him home and let him die. Mm -hmm. But he should have, and then when you, Frickles, Frickles got hit by that car and got a big gash on top of his head, mm -hmm. he went blind in that eye. But that son of a bitch didn't even uh, uh, x-ray his head to see, you know, how much damage there was. Uh huh. I mean, I wouldn't even call him a vet, I'd just call him a SOB. <laughs> because it was just ridiculous. And I found out he used to live in Hazel's old house right across the bike trailer there. Mm -hmm. His name was Brown. She said he lived there a long time, but she never really got to know him. I said, well, I wouldn't take any animal to him. Mm-mm. Because all he wants is the money. Huh? What does Jacob call you? <laughs> warden. <laughs> yeah, I'm the warden, ain't I? Why does he call you that? I don't know why, but <laughs> Sabrina's daddy, he was a sergeant in the uh, Navy, and they called him Sarge. He called her up, said, let me talk to him. <laughs> he liked to talk to me, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> yeah, he, he talked to me. He was a real nice old man. Was he a looker? I don't know. Hell, I don't know what he looked like. I, I seen a picture of him, but he was old. He was in his 80s. But he knew his daughter wasn't doing the right thing. You know, he asked his... Well, she, uh, you know, she told, he told, asked her one time, he knew she drank. Uh huh. And she, he, her daddy asked her, said, well, after I'm gone, how are you going to get your drink? She says, I'm going to buy me a keg. He said, how are you going to get it out of the keg? She said, I'm going to get me a big straw. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it out. And I, I knew her daddy worried about her, you know, because the girls are drinking. Mm -hmm. But see, her whole family, they all got heart problems. Her sister, she just had to have a pacemaker put in. Her brother almost died of two heart attacks. And yet, she, this doctor that she went to for those uh, kidney stones wanted to get her help to stop her drinking. And when the heart doctor asked her how much she drank, she mm -hmm. said about 16 beers a day. <laughs> it's a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. She'd drink a 24 case a day if she could get it. Mm. And that's what I told Danny. He's buying it for her. I said, if something happens to her, her family's going to blame you. Mm -hmm. Because you're the one that's buying it for her. I think that cat wants in. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, God. Let me has. That's boss. Yes, she got to come in. <laughs> oh, Raz is out here somewhere. But you know, uh, uh, Trina. Uh huh. When Freckles died, uh -huh. I had Bam Bam and I had Hazel's cat, Tom. They he was down there all the time. Well, I buried him out by the fence. And I put a little basket with artificial flowers hanging over it. Mm -hmm. Looked out there and guess who was sitting on his grave? Who? Tom and Bam Bam. And they sat out there on his grave for two solid hours. They knew he was in that, that grave. Mm -hmm. well, so Tom stayed in my house all the time. Uh -huh. And uh, so he got used to Bam Bam and Freckles. That was his buddies. Yeah. And uh, one day, Bam Bam come across the road. Uh -huh. He had a, 
a baby rabbit in his mouth. That baby, I mean, you ever hear a rabbit scream? No, I haven't. It sounds just like a woman. <laughs> screaming, screaming. So I run out there and I got it away from him. And I took it and put it behind the fence behind the trailer where it could escape, you know. Uh -huh. And, uh, but there was a bunch of, a bunch of them had been born across the street under some butchers over there. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I just didn't want him getting any more of them. Yeah.